Now we're going to talk about two's complement. And two's complement is the standard way of representing negative numbers, and we use it because it makes addition and subtraction the same. So it makes it easy to do operations regardless of whether a number is positive or negative. So the basic idea in two's complement is that the biggest digit is negative and all the others are positive. So let's take a look at an example. Here's a binary number, 1, 0, 0, 0, and that biggest digit, the first one here, is going to be negative 1 times 2 to the third plus 0 times 2 to the second, 0 times 2 to the 1, 0 times 2 to the 8, times 2 to the 0. So this is negative 8. So this digit right here is negative 8. This digit would be positive 4, positive 2, and positive 1. So for this case, numbers are going to range from minus 1 times 2 to the n minus 1 to plus 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1. So the minimum number, the smallest number, is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, which is minus 8. And the largest number is going to be if we don't have the negative bit, we have all the positive bits. So 1, 1, 1, which is 7. So for a 4-bit 2's complement number, the smallest number is 1, 0, 0, 0, which is minus 8. And the largest one is 0, 1, 1, 1, which is plus 7. So how do we make a number negative in 2's complement? This is really simple. We invert and add 1. So let's take a look at an example. Here's plus 3, which is 0, 1, 1, and we want negative 3. So first step is invert. So we take 0, 1, 1, and we invert it to 1, 0, 0, and now we add 1. So we add 1, we get 1, 0, 1. So 1, 0, 1 for a 3-bit 2's complement number, so this first bit, the largest bit, is going to be negative. So for 3 bits, this is negative 4 plus 1. So that's going to be negative 3. So the big thing to remember about 2's complement numbers, there are two of them. The first is the biggest bit is negative, and the second one is to make a number negative, you invert the bits and add 1. So now we can go on and we can do a more, a more specific definition of it. So the complement of a, a complement, is 2 to the n minus a. So if we take a look at this, here's a 4-bit number where n equals 4. The complement of 0, 0, 0, 1 is 2 to the 4 minus 0, 0, 1. Now 2 to the 4 requires 5 bits. So this would be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 0, 0, 0, 1, which equals 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's how we do the complement. So for 2's complement numbers, when you're using them, the thing to remember is the biggest digit is negative, and to make a number negative, you invert and add 1. So let's now take a look at how we do subtraction, because we said the benefit of this is it makes subtraction easier. So we want to do a minus b. So we're going to rewrite this as a plus negative b. Now, you should think about this. Remember, I just told you how to make negative b in 2's complement. You invert and add 1. So here's our rule. For negative b, we want not b, so invert b and add 1. So now a minus b becomes a plus not b plus 1. So these additions are just the same as the additions we've always had, and not b just means inverting all the 1's and zeros. So here's a minus b. It's a plus not b plus 1. So this is using the same sort of adders we had before, and it doesn't matter if a is greater than b or less than b, or if a is negative or if b is negative, you can do the same thing using this rule. So to compute a minus b, we invert b, change all the 1's to zeros and all the zeros to 1, we add a and b, and then we add in 1. Let's take a look at an example. So I want to do 5 minus 6, which I expect to be minus 1. So here's 5, 1, 0, 1, so 4 plus 0 plus 1, so 5, and here's 6, 4 plus 2. And I want the result to be 1, 1, 1, 1. This is minus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. So to do this, I'm going to first take this 6 here, and I'm going to invert it. So I take all the zeros, change them to 1, and take the 1s, change them to 0, and then I'm going to add in 1. And if we do this math here, we'll say, hey, this does actually add up to what we want and gives us the right answer. Let's take a look at it over here. So here's our first value, 0, 1, 0, 1. And here's our second value, so I've inverted it. So this is 6 inverted, and I'm going to add them together, have a carry here, a 1, a 1. Now I've got part of the number, but I need to add in 1. So I take my 1, I add it in, and here's my final result, 1, 1, 1, 1. So to compute a minus b, I took b here, I inverted it, I added it to a, and I added in 1. Let's take a look at some more 2's complements examples. So here's just 3 plus 4. Note that the most significant bit, the sign bit here, is 0, which means they're both positive, and the addition works the same way as it would normally. Here's 4 plus negative 7. So this one's negative, you can see because its most significant bit or sign bit is set, and you add them up and you get negative 3. So this is minus 8 plus 4 plus 1, which is minus 8 plus 5, which is minus 3. 
Here's another example, minus 2 minus 6, or plus 6 minus 3. Now, the numbers range here from minus 8 to plus 7. So all of these results here are within the range, but what's happening here? Here we had an overflow, we had a carry out. So what's going on? Did these calculations overflow? We had a carry out of the most significant bit, just like we had in the earlier examples. Is this an overflow? So the answer is no, this isn't an overflow. And it's not an overflow because the results minus 8 and plus 3 are both within the ranges of these numbers. So we said before, a 4-bit number for 2's complement go from minus 8 to plus 7. Here we got minus 8, that's within the range. We got plus 3, that's within the range. So even though we had this carry out here, which for unsigned numbers meant an overflow, we're not having an overflow here. So we just saw that overflows are a little different. How do we work this out? So in unsigned numbers, we just checked the carry out of the most significant bit. That meant that we didn't have enough bits to represent the number. Two's complement, this is different. So there's some things you can keep in mind. Numbers of opposite signs cannot overflow. If they're of opposite signs, you're never going to get something that's too negative or too positive. Overflow if numbers are of the same sign and the result is a different sign. So this is the rule for figuring it out. If I'm doing two negative numbers and the result is positive, that meant I overflowed. Or if I'm adding two positive numbers and the result is negative, that meant I overflowed. So this gives us our rule. If the carry into the sign bits is not equal to the carry out of the sign bits, then we have an overflow. Let's take a look at this example. So here's one of the examples we had before. This is minus 2, minus 6, got minus 8. Here are our carries. So here's the carry into the sign bit. It's a 1. And here's our carry out from the sign bit. It's a 1. So they're the same. So this is not overflowing. Here's another example, 6 and minus 3. Here's the carry into the sign bit is a 1, and the carry out from the sign bit is a 1. So they're the same, so there's no overflow here. Now how do you compare numbers? So say I have A and B and I want to figure out which one is bigger than the other. So to do this we first calculate A minus B. We do a subtraction. Then we look at the following things. We look if it's 0. Is there a carry? What's the sign? And is there an overflow? So if the result is 0 from a minus b, that means they're the same, because I subtracted them and I got 0. But determining which one is bigger depends on the type of the number. So we can take a look at unsigned operands and 2's complement. So these are ones that are just positive, and these 2's complement numbers can be negative or positive. And how you compare numbers is different depending on these. So for unsigned operations, if 0 is true, well, then they're the same. If it's not true, then they're not the same. If you have a carry at equals 0, so a carry out from the most significant bit, then a is greater than or equal to b. If you have a carry equals 1, then a is less than b. So this is doing the subtraction. The sign doesn't have any meaning here, and overflow doesn't have any meaning. Now if we take a look at 2's complement, 0 is the same thing, it means whether they're the same or not. Carry has no meaning here. We just saw that, that you can have a carry out and still have a valid value. And sign and overflow need to be compared together in order to figure out if a is greater than b or less than. And so use an XOR gate. You see if they're both the same or they're both different. And you can work out a few examples to see how this is the case. So the thing to remember here is that when you want to compare two's complement numbers, you need to look at the sign and overflow together, and the zero is going to tell you whether they're the same. So here's a question. What's the result of adding minus 8 and minus 8 with 4-bit two's complement numbers? Well, it's going to give us an overflow. And we can see that here. So here's the result of adding these up. We get minus 16. But if we only have 4 bits, we end up with 0, 0, 0, which is positive 0. So the result here, this 0, is a different sign from the inputs here. We can also see that by looking at the carry bits into the sign bit. So we've got a carry going in here is 0, and we've got a carry going out of 1. So here we saw that the carry into the sign bit is different from the carry out to the sign bit, so we have an overflow. Let's take a look at, another, at the results here. So, we looked at sign magnitude, and we saw it has two zeros, which wastes bits, and we have complicated rules for subtraction. We then went to two's complement, and we saw there was only one zero, and we have simple rule for negation. So to do negative b, you just do not b plus one, and that gives us a simple rule for subtraction. a minus b is a plus not b plus one. All the signed integers we're going to talk about in this course are going to be in two's complement. So the thing we haven't talked about so far are non-integers or fractions, and we're going to cover those next, when we talk about fixed point numbers and floating point numbers.